everyone i just realized i didn't do any vlogs in a while i did um update you guys i think my 10 weeks and 11 weeks um pregnancy update last time but i haven't done the 12 weeks and the 13 weeks and i'm almost 14 weeks actually i'm gonna be 14 weeks tonight so um there's a couple of updates that i still have to do i do know the gender the genetic testing and everything the result came out and um, we do know the gender we wanted to do a gender reveal um but um but one of my family members is like really really um sick at the moment so we couldn't really at this moment we didn't really want to go ahead and call everybody and do a gender rebuild i did do it for my first and my second um second child but i do feel a little bad that for my third baby i am not being able to do it but it is what it is sometimes things happen and we just hope our family member um it gets gets better quickly and uh, that's all we are praying about right now um and um but i did do a small reveal to my husband i uh, kind of surprised him with the gender and um and um yeah so that's what i did so i'm just gonna um we actually just went to see a model home custom built I don't mind it but the thing about custom build is sometimes i'm like what if it's after it's done i don't really like it or i don't think there's enough sunlight coming in this room or um you know that room or whatever i'm really big on getting a lots of light in my house that kind of i think that kind of changes all the mood you know so we did go ahead and see another model um i wouldn't say this is a model but this is one of their model that they newly built and um um it's not bad we really liked it but there was only one or two things that we didn't really like um about the house and um so yeah um and uh, let's just see what happens like you know we are gonna me and my husband's gonna sit there and talk about it and see if that's something we're gonna go in, go for or to and the only reason we are thinking about getting a different house is means now that we have a so we have we need a little bit more room so right now if with the third child we have to give away our guest bedroom and um we don't want to do that because we do have a big family so when they come in we want to have um you know space for them and instead of giving away any of our kids bedroom so yeah we had an option to turn our loft to a extra bedroom but we really like our loft so we didn't really want to do that so anyway um we'll see what happens so today uh, i'm going to be doing i'm going to be cooking dinner um i just have to see what i want i'm not really liking a lot of spice like i'm doing more blend so it helps me with the nausea and stuff and um you know the kids love blend food too they don't really like too much um spice and you know all those things my son loves flavors in his food my daughter more like you know she goes more for like a little bit of blend food she doesn't really like it when it's a little you know spicy or anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and probably do some chicken like i'm gonna mix the the chicken breast the thighs and the wings and i'm kind of gonna marinate them with um seasoning and all those things and then just gonna put put it in the air fryer like you know it's like very easy and something quick to do and i'm probably just going to do a vegetable um, mixed vegetable so this is it for dinner tonight while i um do the dinner i'm gonna kind of go over my uh my um 12 13 weeks pregnancy update and my 12 and um 13 weeks wasn't too bad um i was there on 12 weeks i was getting i was like really really tired like seriously really really tired like i couldn't even most of the day i didn't even want to just get up and do anything i just wanted to just lay down in bed and you know i was feeling kind of dizzy and i was getting a little bit more nauseous after dinner so during dinner time like i would be hungry but i just didn't know what to eat so uh yeah so um but other than that there was nothing really different you know i mean i did have my um 12 weeks appointment and it was the first time i was able to hear the 
heartbeat with the Doppler because anything earlier than that is kind of hard to really hear anything. So that was nice. I was able to actually record it too. Um, and that was fine. Um, it's really weird. I think it depends on your doctor's office, but my daughter, um, my first child, we were able to record all the appointments and ultrasound. But it's the same doctor appointment, that's the funny thing. But um, I think it depends with the ultrasound te technician. So with my daughter, we're able to, you know, do the, uh, do the, the recording of the A2X ultrasound and the 2 nux ultrasound and, um, you know, all this. But with my son, I was only able to record the heartbeat when they do the Doppler, use the Doppler. But I couldn't really record any of his ultrasound and my husband wasn't able to go because they were not allowing kids and um, so he was staying home watching our daughter while I would go to the appointments. Um, and but this time, I think also they were like, you know, limiting kids due to COVID. But this time it's, I mean, I'm really happy. Um, so this time we were able to go, all of us were able to go. So they told me as long as there's somebody to supervise the kids, they can come in. And I did tell them that my daughter really wanted to come and see the ultrasound because she's super excited about having another sibling. Well, when my son was, um, when I was pregnant with my son, my daughter was a little bit, you know, she was like only two years old, so she didn't really know what does it mean by having a sibling. But this time, because she knows, she's super super excited she's like always trying to take care of me always trying to listen to me she's just being amazing you know she's being amazing so just way more um also she's just way more independent this time um so it's like working out really good i try to just give her like a little bit more activities that keeps her busy as long as she gets to do her activity and all those things um she's pretty pretty happy throughout the day it's just an 18 months one that i really have to like keep him engaged on doing things other hand he gets bored really easily like, i was surprised because my nausea kind of went away around 10 weeks and i was like okay it's going away you know that is done i didn't really expect it to come back around 12 weeks but then 13 weeks, it got better again. So, and my energy level also came back, like full on came back. So two days in a row, my energy level was so high that I went ahead and, I went ahead and, uh, you know, cleaned the whole house and, you know, did all the laundry. I vacuumed the house. I mean, you name it. Like I, I, I did a lot of things. And usually my husband doesn't really let me do the vacuum. Like, you know, take the vacuum upstairs and come downstairs. Um, not just when I'm pregnant, even when I'm not pregnant. He does, he usually does the vacuuming. Um, he, he's like, you know, this is, I don't want you to do too much. So I'll take care of the vacuum. But um, sometimes I just don't tell him and I just do stuff myself because I can't really wait for him to come home from work and do it because it bothers me when, you know, it's not taken care of or something is dirty. So, uh, yeah, so I do have a cleaning crew coming whenever I need them. I would usually call them like once a month, sometimes once in two months because I try to keep my house pretty clean so I don't really need them in a regular basis uh, but other than that after they come and clean I try to maintain it as long as I can um, but um, because I just can't see a dirty house pregnant or not even when I feel sick and I can get to stuff the moment I start feeling a little better I take care of everything so yeah so 13 weeks uh, my energy kind of went up a lot and i was just trying to keep everything clean and um i was kind of doing a little bit more activities with the kids taking them out in the backyard or just taking them for a walk or just drive them to get some food or whatever you know yeah so yeah that's that was my 13 weeks um and um so i'll be 14 weeks tonight and I'm happy to be able to finally just be done with the first trimester and get into the second trimester. So 
Um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. I made it through the first trimester, which is usually harder uh, for me and for you know a lot of a lot of uh, people. So yeah. So anyway, guys, I wanted to just keep it short, but at the same time, I wanted to let you guys uh, know what's going on. And you know, I don't know if you guys are if you are pregnant, if you guys are going through the similar experience or not. Um, definitely, you know. Um, I hope everybody who is pregnant at the same time, everything is going well. Um, and uh, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please don't forget to just, you know, um, ask me a question or something like that. And if you do like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.